Hello, I'm Simon Thornton of Pair Online. I'm here today at Super Return 2013 in Berlin with Chris Mine, the managing partner of Gavea Investments, the largest private equity firm in Brazil. Chris, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Um, over the last few years, there has been a massive shift in interest amongst LPs from European, North American private equity markets towards emerging markets. How have you seen that affect your business over the last couple of years? Have you changed your strategy as a result? Uh, cer certainly, I think you've seen a, a shift towards emerging markets, not only following where you're seeing more growth from an economic standpoint, of course, that the emerging markets are, are outpacing the developed markets in, in, in quite a, a consistent fashion from a GDP and, and company growth standpoint. Uh, what's happened with the, with the renewed I think focus from a private equity standpoint has been a bit more uh, money flowing to the regions. So for Brazil, we've seen uh, maybe a tripling of, of private equity capital uh, available for companies in the region. Uh, and certainly that, that increased competition uh, has affected in some ways valuations and, uh, and, and the market overall. Um, it, it really hasn't had to adapt strategy. I mean, we're still at a phase, an early phase in emerging markets for private equity. Uh, so I, I don't think we're seeing strategy shifts or changes in operating methodology for the private equities. It's just a fact that our market is starting to, uh, to develop and, and deepen a bit more. So you've seen a significant increase in the number of firms in the space over the last couple of years? D uh, definitely. I, I think both on a local basis and, and more importantly the, the large uh, traditional private equity firms uh, from from global basis uh, firms, the TPGs, KKRs, Blackstones, all of all all of them are now in the region looking for deploying capital and, and building out a franchise uh, in the region, which I think is a natural development of our market. Yeah, uh, of course. And as as that development occurs, how do you, as Gavea, differentiate yourself both with LPs and with staff, with team members, which is often often one of the hardest things to do in a rapidly evolving market. Yeah, it, it's it's we've we've been we've been somewhat uh, lucky, I guess, in a way. We we we've, we've been around uh, for a long time, and we're the largest uh, local group with quite a strong brand. Uh, and I think there always will be uh, a role for the true local firm uh, with local relationships uh, on both a corporate and a political level. Uh, it, it, it's something that rings very loud for the companies themselves of having a partner that they that they know and that shares the same cultural background. That being said, what we're doing at Gavia is also partnering a lot with the with the global firms. Right. I think it's not a market where you need to think uh, all for one and, and and you know competition. It's it's actually can be cooperative, and and I think that's something that we're trying to explore is how to combine our local knowledge and our local uh, abilities with the, the global experience that some of these firms have and I think it's quite it's quite valuable. And how do you work to, in terms of the, the, your team, how do you work to develop this and the next generation of private equity fund managers? Yeah, uh, we, you know, we've, we, we've had a tradition of hiring uh, or promoting from within so we, we tend to hire large, a large base of very young, talented professionals and train them uh, over a series of years. So our partners today started you know, five, seven, ten years ago uh, with the firm in, in, in as, as, as younger, more junior roles. I think that, that and the fact that we've produced very consistent returns and that translates into consistent, uh, consistent carry. Remuneration. Uh, and I think that's this, nothing speaks louder than the ability to deliver uh, that carry compensation uh, within a private equity firm, and, and that's what we've done well. Right, so it gives you a very stable team as a very result. Very stable team, very low turnover. And I guess finally, if you were an LP looking at making the first few commitments into Brazilian private equity, what would be the one due diligence question you would tell that LP to ask <laughs> the funds they're looking at? The one they don't ask, uh, what, what really is the right risk premium uh, for, for Brazil? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of uh, relative comparison to other markets and not enough comparison to the, the asset classes available within the market. So if, if you're looking at our interest rates, you should be looking at a significant spread a, a above that for returns in private equity. And I, and I don't think the LPs uh, price risk in the market enough. Or they don't, they don't uh, require a high enough return, in my opinion, for private equity in the region. Uh, Pat Deneen, one of the most experienced emerging market investors, made the comment earlier this week that in emerging markets you mustn't confuse risk with ignorance. Do you agree with her? I agree with Pat in many things. She's <laughs> one of our 
one of our traditional investors and a good friend, and she's been in the region longer than just about anyone. Uh, I think she's, she's right on the money. Right. Well, look, thank you very much, Chris.